righty, guys. Man, I got to freaking adjust my shirt here. I ate way too much today. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, guys. Hope you all had a great day with your friends, your family. Hope you ate a bunch of good food. Isn't that what Thanksgiving is for? After all, right, guys? So listen, we have to break down SoFi stock today. Do a quick update on the charts, my thoughts, how we did yesterday on Wednesday, heading into the short day in the stock market tomorrow on Friday. So we have a lot to cover. You guys know the drill. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and get your free stocks for a moo moo. You have two more days to do it, guys. Use that link down below. Open up your account and deposit $100. You get five free stocks and a $30 cash bonus and fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks and overall your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8 points. 0.1% APY, which guys, you have two more days, like I said, to get on the deal. So use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moo And with that being said, cheers. Let's talk. So guys, SoFi yesterday on Wednesday went bananas. This stock uptrended all day with a couple of pullbacks um, in between, nothing too crazy. The biggest one being in the middle of the day on Wednesday, we went from 1590 to about 1560. Okay, about a 30 cent sell off, nothing crazy. So we went down about 2% there and then it got bought up and we rallied for the rest of the day. We closed at $16.12 and we actually went up even more in the aftermarket. We're now at 1620 in the aftermarket, up another 10 cents roughly after um as of the aftermarket on Wednesday. So guys, SoFi with the move on Wednesday, we actually hit a fresh high not only on the intraday, obviously, but on the five-day, five-minute, we actually took out the highs from Monday and Tuesday with the move on Wednesday. And we also see on the 30-minute, obviously, we're continuing trend. We pulled down to the 180 SMA. Um, that was on Monday into Tuesday. We then saw buyers come in. We bounced off of it. We retook the 50 SMA on this time frame, the 30-minute. Um, and obviously, we then took the highs out from Monday, you guys see on the 20 day chart uptrend is looking amazing. And now month to date, roughly SoFi is up about 50%, 51%, which is unreal when you think about it. And on the four hour, you guessed it, we also hit a fresh high. So heading into today, heading into Thanksgiving, you know, holiday week, right? We're looking really good not only in SoFi stock, but also on the indexes. You know, we hit an all-time high on, I think, SPY on Wednesday, the Dow, I think, as well. Um, Russell recently hit an all-time high. QQQ's not too far away from an all-time high as well. So, guys, we're crushing it on all cylinders. On the indexes, SoFi's ripping. I mean, we hit another high. Uh, now it's officially up from 586 that was the low at least here on thinkorswim uh, we hit 586 in the beginning of august and now we're at 16 um 20 roughly so we're up 180 percent off of that low officially now guys uh which is nuts and on this three-year chart um we can see now we're getting pretty close to a three-year high the three-year high is $18.69. We hit that um, literally three years ago on, uh, it looks like the 29th of November of 2021. We hit 1870 roughly. So think about that, man. We're still under where we were three years ago in terms of the stock price. But think about the fundamentals of the business, how much stronger of a business SoFi is now at $16, $17 compared to where it was three years ago at a higher price, $18, $19. Um, so clearly SoFi was a bit ahead of itself a couple years ago when the stock was at $18, well over 20 bucks as well. I think the all-time high 
um, is around 28 yeah, 28 dollars a share, which is nuts. So it definitely was overvalued, a bit ahead of itself back then. Um, and that's why we got such a significant crash in the stock. You know, it came back to reality, came back to its, um, you know, not, not even its fair value. I think it got way under its fair value when it got to $4. Uh, but yeah, we saw a lot of, um, you know, w what's the word? Irrational exuberance on, the, on one side, you know, from, from the bullish perspective a couple years ago. Then we got it on the bearish side, right, where, you know, the pendulum swung so much to the left, then it went all the way to the right, you know, and we got the crash to $4, um, and here we are. Now we're kind of recalibrating a little bit, right? Fundamentals have gotten better over the last couple of years. Companies looking a lot stronger over the next one to two years looking forward. Um, so that's how the stock or why the stock is catching up here. And in my opinion, I think it's going to burst right through um, 18, 20 bucks a share. Maybe not so much in the short term in the next couple of weeks. Who knows what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks. But over the next couple of years, uh, for sure, next couple of quarters, in my opinion, um, I think we will blow through 18, 20 because we're so much stronger fundamentally now at this price um, than what we were at three, four years ago, right? At, at the same price or even a much higher price we were at a couple years ago. It's nuts. It's nuts how stocks work, guys. Uh, but here we are and the market is realizing it on SoFi and that's why we've seen such a rapid acceleration in the stock price uh, recently. And I'm hype because I've been in it since $6. You know, 680 is my average cost. I knew deep down SoFi uh, was a 12, 15 plus dollar stock. How many times have I said that on the channel when the stock was under $7? And here we are. Here we are, guys. But enough of me tooting my own horn. We're not going to do too much of that here on the channel, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're looking like heading into tomorrow, which, by the way, tomorrow, Friday, is a short day of trading in the stock market. Uh, stocks or the market closes at 1 p.m. East Coast time. So I guess if you're on the West Coast, what? It closes at uh, 10 a.m. So before half of you guys are going to wake up tomorrow, stock market will be closed. Uh, but if you're on the West Coast, that is. Heck, maybe if you're on the East Coast, if you uh, ate too much food today, guys, you might not wake up till 2 tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, that's a quick breakdown on um, so far as we're getting into this brand new week or not even a brand new week, but a brand new trading day. And, th and then after that, a brand new week, it just seems like it's the weekend now because it's, um, it's Thanksgiving. You guys know how that goes. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, the, the stock market had a bit of a red day on Wednesday. So QQQ sold down about 0.8%. Uh, Spy sold off a little bit, so maybe watch out for these uh, for a rebound heading into Friday. Potentially, we'll see how we look um, in the uh, in in the pre market. So, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm very curious, kind of where your head's at. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and get your free stocks for Moo Moo. You have two more days to do that, guys. Use the link down below. Or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo. -moo. Open up your account and fund it with at least $100. Once you do that, you get five free stocks and a $30 cash bonus. And fund your account with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks. And overall, your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1% APY. So guys, if you want some free stocks, check out the link down below in the comment section or the description box or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo and make sure to also join the email list where I'm sending you guys my top three stocks every Monday. It's free. That's also linked down below. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.